Is This a Great State or What? is sponsored by Weoki. We got you, Oklahoma. Just two days from New York to L.A. The promise of the transcontinental transport company way back in 1929. Passengers flew by day and took a train at night. One stop was in Winoka. That's right, and this weekend, one of those early passenger planes makes another stop in Oklahoma, and Galen Culver hopped in the co-pilot seat for a ride. They called her the Tin Goose. The Ford Motor Company made fewer than 200 of their tri-motor airplanes. Three motors made people feel a little bit safer back in the early days of air travel. Yeah, it allowed airlines back then to make money. A few of them were actually in service long enough for pilot Dave Ross to see them island hopping over Lake Erie in Ohio. At Port Clinton, Ohio, Island Airlines, we used to go over there when I was a kid and look at the tri-motors. You know, I never dreamed I'd get to fly a tri-motor, but I've been doing it for a number of years now. There are fewer than 20 of these aircraft left. A few still fly. Enjoy your flight. It's a lot of fun. And this is the only one that passengers can still buy tickets for. It's oh, okay. kind of a rattly old airplane, but it was a hot setup back then, and a lot of them had uh, airmail contracts that they hauled airmail and people. Richard and Connie Moore were among the first in line. They live a short walk from the Winoka airfield that for a short while served as a hub for transcontinental air transport. These airplanes would fly into Winoka. Passengers would have some dinner, then get on a train for a nighttime journey to New Mexico. It was kind of a historical reenactment for me in my mind. Yeah, it was really cool, very cool. That's why I dressed in the 1920s, and now we're headed to the Harvey House for dinner. This old tri-motor began its service in 1929, flew the East Coast, then Cuba, Central America. It saw service as a smoke jumper, and for the past 30 plus years, as a time traveler. Well, it's a good, honest airplane. It'll do anything you ask of it, as long as you're not in a hurry to get the results taking ticket holders back to the first steps more than 90 years back oh, that was incredible. Okay. to what would become air travel as it is today. The old tri-motor started that takeoff and still flies. In Oklahoma City, Galen Culver, News 4. Is this a great state or what? And the Ford Tri-Motor you just saw is on display this weekend at the Sundance Airport in Northwest Oklahoma City. The Experimental Aircraft Association also offers the paying public a chance to take a short flight. We have more information for you at KFOR.com.